The Missouri Attorney General today filed suit against Jackson County, calling the assessment data the county collected earlier this year illegal. County Executive Frank White and Assessor Gail McCann Beatty are not commenting yet, but this lawsuit is just a day after the state auditor was in Kansas City, calling the process illegal as well. Fox 4's Jonathan Katz live from the Jackson County Courthouse now to explain the advice the AG has for taxpayers. Jonathan? Lauren and John, also important to know, we have been told that Assessor Gail McCann Beatty willing to do interviews on this topic tomorrow. Now, Attorney General Andrew Bailey says that people should pay their taxes under protest by December the 31st. That is also the exact same thing that Auditor Scott Fitzpatrick said yesterday. Paying under protest simply means you are paying your property taxes, but you're protesting the amount that you owe. You can't just write paid under protest on your check. By statute, there's a certain way to do it. Local attorney Sherry DeJane showed us the two different templates for this. One is for people who pay their taxes at the end of the year. Those folks would include this templated letter along with their property tax check inside. The other template is for people who pay their property taxes through escrow. The difference between these two templates, for the mortgage holder, it says payment submitted by and that's where you put your mortgage holders name within three months of submitting that letter to the county you also have to file a lawsuit against them but to jane says you can contact her and she'll file the lawsuit for you for free george dunning says the process for getting your taxes lowered is too difficult for older residents well i've worked all my life teaching school and don't have any kids but uh i feel like i've put out a lot of effort on this place. Both DeJanes and County Executive Frank White say you should pay your taxes by December 31st. Two months ago, though, White's public information officer told us you do not need to pay under protest to receive a refund that you get from an appeal, even if a taxpayer pays their bill while they're waiting for their hearing to take place. Refunds resulting from a value reduction are automatically generated. If someone pays under protest, it could delay their refund. If you still want to pay under protest, we have a link on how to get in contact with DeJanes. Just go to our website right now, fox4kc.com. This story is at the top of our homepage.